Hello, Justine D'Andrea here with Bible Journaling Ministries Creative Team. And today we're using the printables from Jude 1 2. And you can use the regular standard Bible um, printable, the interleaved or inspired printable, and then you have the um, faith dex cards um, that you can use for a project. And all of these are part of your momentum. Um, kit, or you can buy them at per, uh, BibleJournalingMinistries.com. Today we're using modeling paste, some palette knives, and our feature is the scribble sticks. And I'm using some white paint, a little bit of ribbon or yik yak or whatever you can have, and um, a stencil. I'm going to be doing some stenciling with the um, modeling paste and a paintbrush. And, uh, of course, some glue to glue down your, your uh, printables. And I think, I think that's it. So um, if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. So today we are doing Jude 1-2, and I am using the Inspired Bible. And I have put a page protector down to protect my pages. And I want to get rid of the wording Jude because I want to use this whole margin section. And to do this, I'm using white, uh, white paint. And I might have to do a couple layers of it depending on how the coverage of it, how much I want. So I just want to, while I'm doing this, I'm going to just talk a little bit about um, the printables. Um, like you heard me say, um, you can get them at BibleJournalingMinistries.com if you're not a part of the membership of Momentum. If you are part of it, then um, you get these as part of your Momentum kit for the month. So, um, and that's, that's a lot of printables you get. <laughs> so, and that's just one piece of it. So anyway, all right. So let's talk um, Jude uh, one, I'm going to do one. I'm going to read one through two while I'm drying off my page here. And it says, greetings from Jude. This letter is from Jude, a slave of Jesus Christ and a brother of James. I am writing to you all who have been called by God, the father who loves you and keeps you safe in the care of Jesus Christ. May God give you more and more mercy, peace, and love. So, um, that's huge, huh? We're not, we can't function without mercy, peace, and love. That's for sure. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to go ahead and, um, do maybe another coat of this and then, um, we'll get started on the page. So I put two, um, layers of white on to cover and I covered all the page, the whole entire page instead of just the jute so that, I'll have more stability to the page for what I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to use some modeling paste and I'm going to use a stencil and I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to do this, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and lay it on the, uh, on the Bible here and use the, um, I want to say spatula, palette knife. I don't know why I always forget. Um, and you've seen us do this before. This is kind of a standard um, mm -hmm. background type of method that we use. And I'm, you can use um, modeling paste or textured paste, either one of those. And they're actually, well, you can get them in a clear, but the one I'm using, the modeling paste normally comes in white. The textured paint, I think, comes in different, like some have glitter, some are just clear, and it just kind of depends on what you're doing. And so for this page, I'm using the white modeling paste. Mm -hmm. And our focus today is the crayons, and to me, the mix, uh, the Diane Wakely Media Scribble Sticks um, remind me of uh, crayons for sure. So that's what we're going to be using today. 
So when I'm using modeling um, paste, I like to use the bigger palette knife rather than the smaller one because it covers more area. And um, I'm not, I like to leave parts of the stencil, um, uh, let's see, how do I say this? I don't like to apply the modeling paste to the whole stencil. I like to do either sections or leave the edges a little rough because I personally like texture. Of course, you can do yours any way that you would like to do. But I am going to fill up this whole margin piece with it. So you just put a thin layer on, gently um, going over it with the palette knife, and lift it up. Up top here, you can see that I have a little smudge going on. Um, so I'm, I could either take it off that, you know, by just scraping it, or I could just add it to the page and um, just add a little bit more texture around. So like if you didn't have um, a stencil, you can just do this um, with the modeling paste and just kind of stuccoing it, <laughs> stuccoing the page. All right, so the difference between these scribble sticks and the ones I am, and the, like the distressed um, crayons is that the distressed crayons are more to me like a gelato and they're softer than the scribble sticks. The scribble sticks are hard and um, they react to water like the distressed crayons, but um, they're just, the coverage is different. So basically you can go ahead and color like I'm doing here and you can just use it as a crayon or you can add water to it. So um, when the other difference is <clears throat> when you use the distress crayons, it moves a little bit more with like, I can move it more with my finger, but with the um, scribble sticks, you can't move it unless you activate it. And it doesn't have the same um, feel to it or movement to it. So right here, I'm going to, I'm going to fast forward a little bit here or kind of go quicker because I'm just kind of playing with the background. So you saw me coloring here with the crayon um, as normal, or you can go ahead and color it on to the paper and then add water. Or as I'm doing here, um, you can take your paintbrush with a little bit of water and and um, apply it to the crayon and then paint that way or you can dip it into water the crayon itself and um, it makes more of a um, more pigment in the uh, um, in the color so okay so I'm kind of playing um, I'm kind of um, here I am just colored like you normally would and then add, activating it by adding water, trying not to mud it. Because I wanted, my idea was to have the top one color, the middle another color, and then the bottom another because there's three parts to the, to the um, stencil. And as you saw there, if you want it, if you put too much water or you didn't like it, all you have to do is take a paper towel and um, lift it off. All right, so I'm going back in and I'm just playing around with it, just um, letting it do what it kind of wants to do. I'm not adding a lot of water. I'm just adding a little bit of water. And then just applying different pressures. This is how I actually just um, learn. Uh, I like to do to learn. So this is what I do here is um, listen to worship music and then just kind of let God have have some fun. <laughs> so um, I'm not too thrilled with this background, to be honest with you. Um, I'm adding more um, color into it to see how I can make it a little bit more interesting because it's kind of like blood. <laughs> no. 
So I'm trying to figure it out. I'm going to, um, it might be a good idea to dry it in between. Oh, and be sure that your modeling paste is completely dry before you, you try any of this. So I'm just, you know, trying to figure out, I know in my mind, most of this is going to be colored up, but then I got an idea. You guys know I like to work with my fingers. So I decided to go ahead and um, use the technique of sticking it in the paint, I mean, in the water for 20 seconds or so to get the real strong pigment. And that's what I'm doing here. And then just manipulating it a little bit with my fingers. And that makes me happy because I can do um, stronger color and um, and then lighter color as I go through, like, you know, kind of blend it a little bit better with my, my finger and manipulate it the way that I want it to be. And that's what I'm going to do. I remember when I was doing this part, I really, there was a song on that really just, it was a worship song and I really leaned into it. I leaned into the song and and um, kind of let the creative juices flow, and I wasn't really thinking about what I was doing. And if you have never done that before, I, I honestly want to encourage you, because even though you say you're not an artist, God I'm, can do amazing things through creativity and through worship, and um, you will be amazed. And it's not about the perfect piece. It's about... Um, your heart in the Lord and um, kind of just being creative. We're all cr born to be creative. We all can create. We all can do art. We all just do it at a different level. Honestly, I don't, <laughs> I don't really like Picasso paintings. So everybody has their own view of, you know, what art is. So uh, I love when people just relax and do their best and feel um, uh, the emotions as you're as you're going through your art, and <laughs> this must be God speaking because I don't know where this is coming from, but um, I just love it, and that's what I love about um, journaling <laughs> is all the pieces. It's not just about putting. Um, items on the page. I mean, part of it is because if you're visual like me, it helps to um, connect the dots for me. But it's about, oh my gosh, it's about your relationship with God, your relationship with your friends as you're doing Bible journaling, um, yeah. studying together. And um, yeah, it's just... I, I just want to encourage you to invite friends to come over and um, just spend time together and do some creative things. And you don't, you can just use this, the printables as, um, and you don't have to play with the backgrounds or anything like that. And these printables um, are just a lot of fun. They remind me of the seventies this month, our printables that we have. Um, I was going to use my Stabilo, but um, you know what? I decided to use the Scribble Stick, and it does actually do the same thing. Again, I am just dipping it in the water. So I, my technique that I've decided I like the best with the Scribble Sticks is the um, dipping it in water for about 15, 20 seconds. And what happens is it uh, it's... Um, kind of does its own thing to outline is not it's real easy so I was going to put some gold on my page but it didn't work out very well so uh yeah I'm, I'm leaving it there but it didn't really do much to my page so I'm just going to cluster some of my pieces together oh that's right I decided that I wanted to use my rick -a -rack. <laughs> I had some ribbon on my desk. I think you guys have seen this one before. I love the adding texture and um, 
different elements to my page. You don't want to make them too big because if um, they get a little too bulky in your Bible, um, so it could make it harder for you to create another page on, you know, on the back. I'm still getting over my cold. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and here I'm just using some glue to glue it on, some wet glue. I haven't used um, ribbon in my Bible in a while. So speaking of, so this is the Inspired Bible, and I just saw there is a, a new one that just came out, which is really cool. I guess I think it's the third edition. This one here is the first edition, um, which is really cool. I probably should get the um, third edition. I did have the second one, but um, I'm excited to say that God is moving my younger daughter into um, Bible journaling and. I gave that one to her. So that's exciting. So um, I might have to do that anyway. <laughs> so here we go. I'm just, I think it would be really cool. I haven't done this in a while either. Um, just kind of crisscrossing at the bottom here. I don't know. I just, I love material things. And they're just placing around. I don't know. I'm going to speed this up a little because this is basically just trying to decide where I want to put my elements. And um, I don't want to cut it out because I want you to see kind of my process that I go through. And um, maybe I'll put on a little music for you guys. So at this point, I'm, I was thinking that it wasn't popping enough. So I decided to go ahead and use, instead of the Stabilo, I'm going to go ahead and use the Scribble sticks with the, and dip them into the water. And then outline with them. And um, I really love the boldness of it and the way that it, um, it came out. I really do outlining of the stability it just took time because you have to wait for it to to go ahead and um get wet i think it's cool it's kind of like using a marker but with a different texture like a different yeah all right my friends i want to thank you for hanging out with me today i hope that you um enjoyed learning about um, scribble sticks and give them a try and of course share with us what you do um, uh, and make sure you subscribe so that this way you know when there's some new videos coming out and of course share um, we appreciate you all and may god bless you and um, keep you as you um, continue diving in deeper into his word and um, share 
your love of Bible journaling with someone else. All right, my friends. I think we're almost done. Take care, everyone. Bye.